everybody, traders and investors. This is Vishal from Equity Guru. And today we're going to be talking about Sky Harbor resources, specifically what I'm seeing on the setup for Sky Harbor. And I guess you can apply this to the uranium market and uranium stocks um, as a whole here. Uh, Sky Harbor, we've talked about it many times here on Equity Guru. Actually, Chris Perry just did a video on uh, three of his favorite uranium explorers, and Sky Harbor was one of them. Uh, they do hold a portfolio of uh, exploration projects in the Athabasca Basin, aka the Saudi Arabia of uranium, as uh, it's well known. And the company has uh, acquired an interest from Denison Mines, uh, the 100% interest in the Moore Lake uranium project, which is uh, close to Denison's Wheeler River project and also close to Chemicals MacArthur River uranium mine advanced stage exploration project, high grade uranium. Uh, they also have the Russell Lake uranium project from uh, Rio Tinto. But the company itself, you know, has uh, many projects, multiple projects. There is more lake there. Uh, there's Preston and East Preston. You've heard of some uh, joint ventures there with Agincourt Energy um, as well. So this is just one of those plays that we like because uh, it has good management. Uh, and it also has basically really prospective um, projects near big players. So the idea of, you know, closeology and uh, especially, you know, that, that Moore Lake one being close to uh, Denison's and Chemicals project, this idea of closeology and that the resource extending um, into Sky Harbor's uh, project or land package there is very, very uh, exciting stuff. Um, the company itself here, if we do take a look at the stock chart, I'm going to put it on the daily chart here, but uh, we will also look at the uranium market and uranium in general in just a second. But I just want to talk about what I'm seeing here on the daily chart of uh, Sky Harbor. Um, you guys can probably see here since October, mid-October here, uh, the company has just been, or Sky Harbor stock has just been ranging essentially between uh, 42 and a half cents to the upside and about 35 cents to the downside here. Um, if you've seen a few of my uh, technical charts on the Equity Guru website, I did actually talk about this support level at around 32 or 30 cents here. You know, it's been a level that's been tested and has held since uh, 2021. You can see we've got a really, really big uh, reversal and a pop bouncing at this level. Same thing actually happened here in June 2022, where we respected the support level. We saw a nice little bounce heading higher. Um, and in this current uh, market right now, we did not hit that support level. Instead, we saw buyers sort of step in just before that major support. So what I'm thinking, uh, you know, just a technical thing, but perhaps some people were buying the bid here is essentially what, because of what they were seeing in the uranium market itself and possibly placing their stop losses, you know, just below this major support level and, uh, you know, just holding on and going to ride that momentum forward. Some of you with a keen technical eye can maybe see this uh, sort of double bottom-like pattern, which seems to be developing. You know, it might not look textbook, but uh, hardly anything is when it comes to trading, but it's about that structure where you're in a downtrend, you know, you're seeing a bit of a bottoming here. And of course, you know, for a double bottom, you need that breakout trigger, right? In this case, that breakout trigger will come with a close about 42 and a half cents here, which is that main resistance level and has been resistant since uh, mid-October of 2022. And I think if Sky Harbor can get a close above that, it would get this stock really, really going. And of course, you know, you would have to keep in mind there is that 50 cent major psychological zone. But I think with that break from here, we could easily... Uh, go back up to the 60 cent level here, which I've marked as resistance. And I've done so because uh, on that weekly chart, I mean, it's a very, very major, major resistance level going back um, a couple of years. And, you know, Sky Harbor did break out of this in 2021 when the Euro uranium markets were seeing quite the rally, very, very beautiful um, inverse head and shoulder weekly pattern here uh, that, you know, we spotted way back in the day. But I want to just focus your attention here on that 30 cent level again on that weekly chart. Once again, you know, you can bring this uh, support level all the way back and you'll see that you have multiple, multiple touches, right? Which is what you want to see 
with these big sort of support levels where you want to see areas where it's being resistance and support, right? So we have seen some rejection here as well, as well as support. So I think, you know, this level is a very, very strong level. And as long as we remain above it, uh, you can see uh, some well, momentum build in Sky, on Sky Harbor. And eventually we'll see that breakout above that 42 and a half cent level, which I've marked on the daily chart. And again, here is that resistance zone at around 60 cents, which I will be watching as the first target. But of course, you know, if you are into uranium for the long term, I want you all to definitely take a look at my 2023 Uranium Outlook article. The link will be in the description box below. Well, 2023 be the year for uranium. I talk about supply and demand. I talk about geopolitics. I talk about the big one on energy security, which I think is going to be one of the most important themes for uranium, uh, driving uranium prices higher in 2023. Perhaps uh, some of you will be surprised to know that almost none of the fuel needed to power America's nuclear fleet today comes from domestic producers. While U.S. nuclear utilities purchase nearly half of the uranium that they consume from state-owned entities in Russia, Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan. Uh, so, you know, obviously things will have to change there, which can maybe drive a bull market in all these uranium stocks based in the U.S. or based in North America in general, as uh, these nations look for domestic supply to secure energy security. And of course, you know, the green transition and improved attitude towards uh, nuclear energy. And I also give a little discussion about what I see on the, uh, the market for uranium. Of course, it's not an open market, but buyers and sellers do negotiate their contracts privately. And we do have uh, this chart on trading economics. We've been talking about this range here between 4860 really to the, um, to the downside and about 5365 to the upside, which we tried to break out in October. Um, didn't really happen. So we're just going to be watching uh, this range going forward in uranium. And I think once uranium sort of develops this bottom here and breaks above 5365 sometime in 2023, you know, that's going to be your, your big, big trigger for major moves in uranium. And uh, currently you can see there was a bit of a breakout above the 49 level, which I do highlight in the chart, sort of an interim breakout. Uh, and I think going forward, you know, we're seeing the uranium markets fall a bit here. Again, folks, a lot of people get afraid of these breakouts and this pullback. Totally normal in markets, right? Whenever there's a breakout or a breakdown, uh, price does tend to pull back or retrace, which allows buyers an opportunity to jump into the trade, which is also why, you know, I don't recommend FOMO or, you know, fear of missing out. A lot of people see those big, big pops and want to jump in in a breakout, but eventually, you know, there will be uh, a retest down the road. Sometimes it doesn't happen right away, right? Sometimes the stock or the asset will just run away, but eventually things do pull back to retest their breakout zone. And I think we might be seeing that here with uranium, uh, you know, as long as it remains above $49, it's at $49.50 right now, as long as it remains about $49 we have that potential to make a higher low and uh, drift higher eventually, you know, down the road, testing that 53, 65 zone. And I just think with the market, you know, creating a bit of a base here, the uranium market creating a bit of a bottom here, um, that will be very, very helpful for these type of uranium stocks, such as Sky Harbor, which are also creating these bottoming patterns right at major support. Um, I'm very excited about this stock. I do think we will eventually get that breakout above 42 and a half cents. Um, the technicals look great. Again, major support level, basing, uranium's basing as well. And of course, the catalysts help as well with uh, the team doing, or the management team, uh, creating some catalysts with press releases uh, going forward. And I just think, you know, it's an exciting time to be in commodities in general. Uh, and a lot of people are looking at 2023 being the big year for uranium. And once again, I will um, uh, suggest you to check out this article that I just wrote on uranium uh, just a few weeks back. And it talks about my bullish case for uranium in 2023. Uh, that's it for me, folks. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel. 
Let me know in the comments below if you are a major uranium bull. Do you think 2023 is the year for uranium? And also let me know what you guys think about Sky Harbor as a company. And of course, the technicals here that we are seeing in Sky Harbor. Um, looking forward to read your comments below. And I'll catch you guys all in the next Equity Guru Chart Attack. Video.